Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> so we've been diving deeper and deeper into gamelang and Indonesian regional and folk and just traditional music. Wow. Something that came up on the comments was this style called Angklung. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. But <laughs> when I was Googling it and sort of searching it up, but let's guys no idea what this is. I am here blind, brother. And having a look at sort of your fan mail and, you know, the DMs. This kept getting recommended, which is Bohemian Rhapsody, with this bloody instrument that I have no idea what it is. It looks like a wood silo. Or do they blow on it? I have no idea, mate. I didn't <laughs> click on it because I'm like, I have to record this. So let's give it a watch. <laughs> How are you doing then? What are they doing? Shaking it? Ugh. They have a drum. Yeah, zoom in, bro. <laughs> this singing queen. How did this even become a thing? I know it's back in the day, you know, and it's like traditional, but how did they figure this of, out? Is it made of bamboo? I think it's made out of bamboo. It kind of looks like it, right? They do think they are so low. I'm him! Is it him? He's like, what the f Dude, I can think of so many uses for this in movies, series, this is awesome. music production. Wow, <laughs> that is so great! Arrangements of... Question is, how do you pitch this? How do you tune this? Yeah, how do you? Yeah, yeah, I want to see how that works. Oh, what the fuck? They just shake them so they hit like this. Yeah. I thought they had rattlies things. No, no, no. We gotta shake that shit hard. He's sweating. He's buckets. sweating. Yeah, I would be too. Look at her as well. Dude, I said today we've been like coaches. We were talking about that the other day. It's like, mate, it's such a like music wise, you have to like put down all your sort of barriers and like uh, boundaries of everything. And when it comes to art, at least in our opinion, music and just 
consume everything there is, discover, because it's like, that is unreal. And the funny thing is, if say you're a creator yourself, or let's say like you make music and stuff, you can, that that would be such a unique sound to mm. use. No one's fucking used that. Right. I guarantee you that. Jen. Well, I have ne I had never heard that yeah. sound or seen that instrument before. Also, can we just have a moment for the incredible ding, 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 ding. artistic craft that goes into like figuring out how to map that? So he says, it is made of bamboos, mate. Yes, um, I figured. Sandanese in Indonesia that is made of varying number of bamboo tubes attached to a bamboo frame. Yeah, I guess if you smack a bamboo, you say, oh, what if I hit it below? Or what if I make the tube shorter? You could sort of figure that out. The tubes are carved to produce a resident pitch when struck and are turned into octaves, similar to Western handbells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, do, it does sound a, t a tiny what bit. Be, what would it be to hear to uh, hear it uh, on, a, on a Kakapi. traditional, what the hell on is a a traditional song? All right, let's try this. <laughs> Them. You can also... I'm not yeah, because it sounds so woody, though. It does. Yeah, right? it's not. There is there is an instrument like that. It's so melodious. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Like it doesn't have a natural rev uh, reverberance, so it doesn't have like a a, a a sound, a space for it to reverberate. Yeah, like it, it doesn't bounce. It's it just doesn't woody. Bounce at, so it, it kind of dies right after it hit. It, it's been struck. Yep. So. You have this like short term melody focus to it, which adds like a brand new dynamic to the melody yeah. of the song per se. But it's very melodious. Headmasters, teachers and students all enjoyed learning and playing Anklung. Anklung. They all felt that learning and playing Anklung together helps to develop the qualities of cooperation, learning to live together, discipline, responsibility, concentration, memory, mutual respect, equal rights, refinement and artistic and musical sense. Oh my um, god, you heard it first! Oh, go fucking play the Anklung, bro! Literally. That's it, world hunger dissolved. <laughs> You know, <laughs> world damn. peace when but you play. I do this. agree, though. This would be such an easy, um, like, entry point because it sat, it's very melodious. Um, you don't necessarily have to understand a ton of music theory. Um, well, they are accessible to it, kids. Yeah, they teach it as as is. This yeah. is the mem the me the me melody repeated, memorized. That's right. So it's kind of like very cool. I like that very a lot. Nice, I um, like that. Yeah, I guess that. Oh, that was UNESCO. That's why. Ah, well, there you go. Um, anyways. I don't know what journey we're in, but we are sort of, you know, we're, we're starting to create ourselves and stuff like that. So it is super interesting to be discovering stuff. And we obviously have the huge privilege of doing that publicly. So if you ever hear an Anne Klum in one of our songs, in one of our <laughs> projects, or we talk it with someone else, it's like, hey, you know where you, we came up with that idea you know and it was yours, you guys. So I uh, thank you so much and uh, adios. Goodbye.